We're going to take a preliminary impression first of all before we begin so that we can fabricate a provisional restoration. We've finished our preparation and now we're going to get ready to take our final uh, triple tray impression with PVS impression material. Throughout the entire preparation procedure, the tongue was kept out of the way. It was all isolated. It was also kept out of the way when we did the retraction. And as many of you know, astringent X tastes horrible. And the eye slide actually vacuums up any extra astringent so that you don't have the astringent X ever going down the throat or ever having the patient taste it. What we're going to do now is get ready for the PVS impression, for the triple tray impression, and how I'm going to do that. First of all, I'm going to remove the isolate mouthpiece from her mouth, and I need a pair of scissors. I am trimming the cheek retractor, the part that I call the whale's tail, off of the isolate so that it doesn't drag any impression material away from the tooth. You can trim this very easily. This does not change the function of the isolate whatsoever. We'll put this back in the mouth. We inject the PVS impression material around the tooth. Insert the triple tray, open wide, remove the isolite, bite down. And that's how we take our triple tray impression. It's great not fighting the monster tongue or battling saliva. We're now removing the triple tray, evaluating all of our margins. As you can see, they're very nice and clean and clear and concise. No blood, no saliva, perfect impression. I'm going to show you what it's like to take an impression without utilizing the isolite. You all know what that's like. We've got a tongue out of the way, the cheek out of the way. We inject our impression material around the tooth. We insert the triple tray. We hope that the tongue doesn't get in the way. We hope the cheek doesn't get in the way. We hope it's all dry. Impressions with isolite are just more predictable.